pandemic is a stressful time for families. We want to offer some tips that you can use now and later and to remind you that child help is here to help. Where there is incredible stress, there is a higher risk for potential child abuse and neglect. This crisis and quarantine conditions have heightened that stress and potential risk to many children and struggling families. Several states have reported a decrease in official reports of child abuse. We wish that fewer reports meant less abuse, but we know this is unlikely the case. Rather, we believe the temporary school closures and lack of interaction between children, their teachers, and other mandated reporters is most likely the cause for decreased reporting. The Child Help Hotline has seen a different trend than the states. Contacts to the hotline increased by 31% in March 2020 as compared with March 2019. We have been contacted about abuse by children who are afraid, parents who are frustrated, and survivors of abuse who are triggered by this pandemic and need to speak with someone. Our hotline number is 1-800-4-A-CHILD. Historically, a general increase in child abuse disclosures occurs after children have been at home for extended periods, such as summer break and winter break. During these times, children are away from mandatory reporters and are likely to spend more time with potential abusers. The Child Help Hotline is able to be a resource now because kids, they can't wait when it comes to receiving help. Yet, we also need to ask ourselves, how can we help these kids when they return to school? If disclosures increase as projected when children return to school, they need resources for help and the opportunity to tell a trusted adult. The Child Help Speak Up Be Safe program is a school-based program that helps children and teens learn the skills to prevent or interrupt cycles of neglect, bullying, and child abuse, including physical, emotional, and sexual. It is research-based and evidence-informed with developmentally appropriate lessons for pre-kindergarten through 12th grade. Schools all across our country and in other countries are using this program to educate mandatory reporters and students on how to recognize, prevent, and report abuse. We can't let this health pandemic become a child abuse pandemic. We must give children the resources needed to prevent and report abuse. That's exactly what the Child Help Speak Up Be Safe program does. To further help during this time, we'd like to give you some online prevention tips that you can use at home right now. Help your kids build resilience to cyberbullying, reminding them that hurtful words from others should be balanced with what they know to be true, and keep them safe from internet predators. It's estimated that one in five children who have access to a digital device are sexually solicited online. Offenders may attempt casual contact with children online, sometimes pretending to be a peer, gain their trust, and then they'll introduce sexual conversation over time. Since screen time has increased for children at home with online schoolwork, here are some prevention tips based on recommendations from the FBI. Discuss internet safety with children of all ages and monitor your children's use of the internet. Make sure privacy settings are set to the strictest level for online gaming systems and electronic devices. Check your children's profiles and what they post online. Explain to your children that images posted online will be permanently on the internet. Make sure children know that anyone who asks a child to engage in sexually explicit activity online should be reported to a trusted adult and law enforcement. And lastly, teach your kids to tell if you receive a message that contains cyberbullying and then tell them not to engage but to ignore. Please know we are here for you during this difficult time and later. Visit speakupbesafe.org for more information about our abuse prevention curriculum and consider advocating for its use in your child's school. You can also visit childhelphotline.org for more information about our national hotline.